Next, we are going to take a look at to uh, take a look at many to many relationship. So again, it could be unidirectional, it could be bidirectional. Uh, many to many relationship always use a joint table at the database. Okay, so there is no foreign key scheme uh, used to support many to many. Okay. All right, so here, let's say we have a customer and phone. So, you know, a customer can have many phones and the phone can belong to many customers. Not the best example, but, uh, you know, just to give you a sense of how things work. So here, you are going to use many to many and many to many. So here, a customer has many phones, so you're going to use many to many. Here, you're going to use the many to many uh, like this. Okay? Uh, and here, when you're using map by here, it's basically indicating which column goes first in the join table. That's basically what thing it will actually specify. Okay. Uh, okay, so, you know, here you can specify names of the join table uh, can be customized, custom phone, and you can specify uh, the, again, join column and name customer one ID. Yeah, so basically, again, this is an example we have seen before as well. So to customize the column names of uh, the join table as well as the table name itself. Okay. So bidirectionality in many to many, although many to many relationship is always bidirectional on the database, the object model can choose if it will be mapped in both directions, in which direction it will be mapped in. So if you choose to map the relationship in both directions and then one direction must be defined as the owner and the other must use the other must use the map by attribute to define the mapping. So basically uh, the, uh, the map by attribute in this case, uh, the, oh, so if you're using map, yeah, in this case you have to use a map by, otherwise it will actually duplicate the joint table information on both places. Okay, and so we'll, we'll see how that works out. So if the map by is not used, then the persistent provider will assume there are two independent relationships, meaning there are two independent one-to-many relationships. So you will actually have a duplicate rows in the joint table. Okay, so that is the implication. So let's take a look at the uh, exercise three. So in this exercise three, we are gonna actually try uh, joint table events owner and joint table speaker is the owner and uh, then you can actually have a custom table name and custom column names for the joint table. So let's run the first one. So event is the owner. So one as and Java application and uh, main my package. Okay, so you can see here we have uh, the uh, speaker uh, the uh, Diane, yeah, first name and last name, and uh, uh, the uh, event, passion one and passion two. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, so I don't understand why sanction is actually twice. So that should be actually removed. Okay. And then then we have uh, the uh, event ID and speaker ID join table. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, that documentation. Okay, so here bidirectional joint table event is the owner. So here, uh, okay, so here uh, many to many cascade all. So you know the uh, basically again uh, uh, the uh, cascading operation would be propagated. So event has many speakers. Okay, so in this case, event is the owner of the relationship. Uh, uh, because here it's using map by, which indicating that this is inverse owner. Okay, so the uh, the event is going to be automatically the owner, and this is going to be inverse owner. Okay, so that is that. And the next one is uh, you know speaker is the owner. So in this case, uh, the uh, the event will have map by. Okay, so here. Uh, the uh, again speaker so you can see the name the name start with the speaker event rather than event speaker and uh, and also it will start with the event ID and speaker ID so that that is a difference uh, so you know so speaker event event ID and speaker ID if you actually see the uh, previous example uh, it's gonna be actually uh, oh event ID and event speakers ID is that the same event ID and speaker ID join table yeah it's the same oh 
the table name, let's see, speaker event. Yeah, okay, so this is reversed. Okay, yeah, so I think uh, this one, yeah, that, I kind of expect this one will be also reversed, but I guess it's not, it, it is not, okay. Uh, okay, so that is uh, the next one. So, you know, basically where you have this map by, you are basically indicating which one is the uh, owner and which is not the owner. Now, I think, as I said before, you know, suppose if you remove this map by, let's see what happens. So I'm going to here, the first example, let's actually move uh, event. So here, uh, okay, so in this case, speaker is uh, has a map by, so basically indicating that uh, uh, it just kind of keep your direction. So I'm going to just remove like this. And uh, then if I run it, let's actually save it. And if I run and the application, then what you're going to see is that, uh, you know, the, uh, so let's see what happens. Oops. Uh, having blah, blah, blah. Ah, okay. It looks like it doesn't like it. Uh, maybe the not in the table, even ID is not table. So it doesn't let me allow. Okay, so let's uh, okay. Let's see whether this one works again. Let's, let's save it. Ah, let's actually clean. Uh, okay, so let's see whether it works, and then we'll clean the table, and then we'll try again. Okay, so that works. Now I am going to go to refresh table and I'm going to remove all these tables okay now let's actually try to remove map by oh this is a cascade all okay so let's uh, and, uh, okay all right all right so let's uh, run as and job application no oh, okay so it looks like a, we it doesn't allow me to so it looks like you have to have a map by in many to many okay all right okay all right so the last one is basically having a different custom uh, column name as well as uh, the table name of the uh, join table. So let's run it. Okay, so join table, my event ID, and my speaker ID, and all that stuff. Okay, so that is the. Uh, now, actually, I want to do another experimentation. So here, I you know my. Yeah, here it seems like an event is always on the left column so I'm kind of puzzled what, why that is the case so I'm going to run this one just make sure that it has the second example is also event ID maybe it is actually depends on the order of these classes specified in the uh, the uh, in the persistent XML class so I'm gonna just switch uh, take this guy and have it here it's, it's not really important but I was just kind of curious okay so now I'll save it and uh, let's see whether this is actually being first no oh, okay that doesn't make any difference so I, I'm kind of curious why event ID is always the first column and why speakers is actually second column in you know in both cases okay so i'll give you guys about five minutes to try the uh, uh, uh the many-to-many -many relationship 